This video will show you three signs of your past life and understanding more about how to tap into that part of who you are. I'm going to share with you practical tools that you can apply today so that you can start to find out what and who that is. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now on this video we're going to be talking more about past lives, understanding more about what they are and then some signs that can tell us who we were and what the themes were of the certain lives that we're connecting to. Now, the idea behind this and the first thing I want to explain is the truth on what past lives really are. Now, truths, of course, this is subjective. I encourage you to go within and see what really resonates with you. But when it comes to this process, the most common misunderstanding with past lives is thinking about it in the term of linear time-space reality. Now, of course, the word past has to even invoke the idea of a linear time-space reality. But this is what quantum physics shows us. Quantum physics shows us that the only moment that does exist is this moment right now. Everything that we can possibly perceive us <laughs> perceive of is a different parallel reality and all parallel realities that we can possibly imagine exist right now in the present moment. Now this is also something that Eastern philosophy will talk about. This is something that we can really connect to when it comes to understanding that the only moment is now which means that we can be present to the moment. Now the, now, the power of this though is really knowing that the past lives that we think that we are having are actually parallel incarnations of what we could call our oversoul. Now the idea is that every possible reality exists right now in the present moment. The ones that we will connect to in what we think of as our past or our future is a parallel version of us going through a similar theme. Now I know this sounds a little bit complicated, but I want to just first off kind of clarify that the idea of past like we went through this in the past and we're now living out this type of karma is often a misunderstanding because then people believe that they're constantly held down by their actions and what they're doing in the present moment. When really what it is, is that it's in the present moment we have a certain type of pattern that we are living. We have a certain type of, we could call it a vibrational frequency and based on that perception we will look into the past, we will look into the future and we will see similar themes of whatever we focus on. So I'm not saying that the past lives aren't real, but what I am saying is that we are connecting to another part of ourselves, maybe a deeper part of ourselves, maybe what we call our oversoul, and that as we do that, we are then perceiving of those versions of us, which are then also from their time, their time, reaching out to us in the same way because there is something that we can learn from it. Now, a lot of times past lives are giving so much of more emphasis than they need to be because sometimes it's not relevant. Sometimes the most relevant thing to do is to just live now in the present moment and not really worry about what type of the past or the future that we connect to. But a lot of times people want to know, I get asked a lot on this channel about this idea, so I thought I'd go into my perspective about it. So first off, let me clarify that when I talk about past lives, I'm really talking about a parallel incarnation of ourselves that exists right now in a different time, space, frequency, in a different reality, even though everything exists right now in the present moment and if you can imagine it then it is something that exists from a parallel reality point of view. Now the first sign of your past life has to do with a certain theme that you are currently going through. Now I remember years ago that I went to someone that was clairvoyant and she was tapping into what we call past lives and she talked about a couple different past lives where I was somebody that was bringing through some type of truth. So one of them was in Egypt that had to do with me uh, like giving some type of you know information to people but it was a lot of resistance with that because it wasn't the time yet for certain information to come out and because of that there were a lot of past lives where she was able to perceive that I was killed because of that because the collective maybe wasn't ready for certain type of information and wasn't ready for you know to learn whatever it was when it comes to higher truth and knowledge because that was always kind of been a theme that I've gone through in quote unquote past life or parallel incarnations. Now the interesting thing to me is that it's more so about just in the present moment right now what I do is I give out information to people and then what happens is you can connect to the past or the future and you can see these patterns because that's what's being focused on. So I'm not saying it's not real but I'm saying that I also believe that the themes we are going through are going to determine what parts and what past lives we connect to. 
So if you're going through a theme of maybe learning to take your power back, you may be able to connect to and see past lives where you didn't take your power. And then you assume that that's why you're going through this now. But in reality, it's just that's the theme you're going through. So the parallel lives, past lives, or future lives you connect to may be going through the same thing. And therefore, you're connecting to it to bring some type of information through. So it's a real tail sign whether you're going through certain themes in your life. You know me, I've always... Uh, when I'm connecting at least to what we call past lives, I'm able to see that it's more so about bringing information forth and that a lot of times uh, that's something to learn from that and now in this this time, it's more about me just like going forth in my truth and just sharing as much information as I can. And who knows whether that's real or not. What I'm saying is connect to it for you, see what's true for you, see what themes you're going through and see how you connect to that. So you may be going through a certain type of relationship with someone and you may be able to focus in the past and see that, hey, in a past life, there was this type of connection. But it could be just a pattern that you're living right now and then that's what you're focused on when really there's a whole bunch of past lives, quote unquote past lives, parallel incarnations that you may have had that may have shown you something totally different, but you'll resonate with different themes at different parts of your life. So the second sign of your past life has to do with dreams. Sometimes if you have an intention and you go into your dreams and you say, I want to have a sign of what that is, your subconscious mind can show you. However, like I said, sometimes I just don't think it's that relevant. But there is something to be learned from it if you choose and if you want, but you may get certain signs through imagery, through symbol like some type of symbolic representation of what that could be by simply having an intention of what and who you were in a past life, but remember it's also a parallel incarnation. So in our dream state, let's talk about that a little bit. I haven't gotten too much into this channel about what I think happens in a dream state. Now in the dream state, we think of symbolism, we think of uh, you know representations of what our higher self is trying to tell us, or that can be one perception of it at least. What I believe happens is that in what we call our dream state, we are actually in a much higher realm of awareness. Now when we uh, quote unquote, come back into waking reality, what happens is there's an initial bleed through to where our subconscious mind, our mind can only interpret this high level of awareness, this high of a level of dimensional experience, can only realize it and can only understand it based in what it has to go with. So for example, we have no reference experience for something that's in a reality that we've never even experienced before. So our brain will use different interpretations, our brain will use different ways of showing us the symbolic representation of whatever we learn. So maybe we learned something when we were asleep and we were really able, we had the freedom to pretty much go anywhere within our own consciousness, but we only remember that which we can relate to with what we have with the human language, with the symbols that we use, because if it's so far outside of our realm of perception, we won't actually retain the information and be able to bring it back in a waking state. So in the dream state, I believe that we're able to connect to pretty much whoever we want. We're able to uh, exist in a very high, we could call it dimensional, I mean that's kind of an esoteric way of understanding it. Uh, we could also just call it a very expanded point of awareness, maybe we're much more connected to oneness. I believe that in a greater truth, dream state is actually closer to who we really are than the waking state. It's just that the waking state has time, space, continuity, and therefore we see it as a very continuous type dream. But in a way, I think that life is in a way a dream as well, not to take away from the power of it because the experiential part of it is something that we definitely learn from and that's why we have and experience what we do in our life. Now, dreams in general can be what we make it. If we believe in our dreams, if we believe that they mean something to us, then they do. If we believe that our higher self communicates to us with our dreams, then, they, then it will. And I believe that it's about just you getting to the core of what you believe to be true and using what symbols you want to use. And if you want to have the intention before you go to bed, you can definitely find out what that past life connection is or that parallel incarnation is. And you can see what you can learn from it. So before you go to bed tonight, I encourage you to set an intention to remember your dreams in the morning and to set an intention to connect to a parallel version of you and to see what comes through. You may be surprised that you do see something, some type of symbol, some type of representation, maybe actual very visual experience, who knows. But nonetheless, I think that in the dream state, we're actually much more hyper aware. We're in a much different level of consciousness. We can't really perceive it with the mind, so therefore we get symbols of the subconscious mind, and that's what we perceive of as our dreams. But in reality, we, we go into a place of no time, we go into a place of uh, 
higher level consciousness and it's a complete different realm to which we have no ability to explain with the human language or with even the mind, the pictures that we use in waking reality. So now the third sign of your past life has to do with the activities that you may find in your current life. So for example, say that there are certain activities that you like to do or maybe a certain language that you're learning or something that you're doing that comes very easy and very natural for you. Well, the idea is that maybe it's coming so easy and natural for you because there is in a way a bleed through from this parallel reality or this life to another one. And what you're doing is there's some type of continuous type stream that's making it easy for you to learn it, easy for you to remember it, easy for you to apply it. Now, there've been many stories before of people who, uh, like kids, for example, who knew different languages that they've never heard before with their conscious mind and the parents and they could not figure out why the, this kid knew this type of language. And then what they find out is that the, the kid claims that he or she was in a tribe and learned that language in a past life. There have been multiple stories of people that claim from a past life they were some specific person and then it was found out that that person really did exist that they're explaining and is a similar life story almost exact life story of what that kid said and the kid may be like six years old not a reddit anywhere so it's very interesting because i do believe that there is some type of connection that we can make to past life past incarnations which is really a parallel incarnation of ourselves but the idea more so is understanding that there are certain patterns within us we could think of them even like the neurosynaptic connections in our brain so neurons that fire together will eventually wire together. Think of it as if those neurons are firing together or wiring together in a past incarnation very strongly, then there is a chance that if we're resonating in a similar frequency that we can pick up that bleed through. So sometimes this is where kids may know a different language than the language they grew up with. They may be very young and they may understand things that even parents don't understand. Um, there have been kids before that have understood how py the pyramids were built or how they work, explaining it to parents or kids or even stuff that the scientists don't even know yet. There have been, and they claim or said that they just, I mean, they just know that that's the way it was created. So it makes you think, where does that information come from? And realize that the inf information doesn't necessarily come from the past. It all exists right now in the present moment. They're just able to connect to the bleed through. They're able to connect to that version of themselves and bring the information forward. So in the same way, we can learn to do the same thing by existing in the frequency and in the state of consciousness that we prefer. And as we do that, we may see bleed through of different realities of ourselves. But once again, it might not be relevant. I'm making this video because I really want you to understand that the most relevant thing is to be present in the moment now and to be living your life experience. And that as you do that, you may find the synchronicity that shows you parallel incarnations of who you think that you were, but really exists right now in the present moment. And also to encourage you that you are so much further vast than you can possibly imagine. That we think that this is who we are, this, this body, this ego is who I am. But in reality, you are much further vast, and I'm not talking about your ego, I'm talking about the deeper part, deeper level of your consciousness, is so much further vast than you can possibly imagine that you are an immortal spiritual being having a very temporary human experience. And then as you tap into that, it will change your whole perspective on life. You'll start to connect to yourself in a much deeper level. And you'll start to find that you start to live an ecstatic expression of your passion. That comes from the awareness of who you are, knowing that life is temporary, but that energy can never be created nor destroyed. It is simply is, and that is who we are. We will always exist. I encourage you to tap into that, to know that you have parallel incarnations. However, to not necessarily see them and give them excess importance, something I've been talking about a lot lately. Don't put it on a pedestal. It's not absolutely imperative that you understand every part of your past life. Just understand that as you become present in the moment, as you follow your excitement, as you choose to be an authentic expression of who your soul chooses to be, things will dynamically expand in your life. So another part of this is understanding the subconscious mind, it's understanding that beyond just the subconscious mind is understanding how we can influence ourselves towards raising our own vibrational set point. I believe that as we raise our vibrational set point, we start to perceive from a higher level of consciousness. 
And that's why I've created a free MP3 guided meditation that you can listen to, that as you listen to will help guide you through the levels of consciousness to raise your vibration with the intention of raising your vibrational set point so that you feel better a majority of the time. I went through this transformation back in 2012. It changed my life. So what I wanted to do is to provide some type of value that can maybe help you get there. So it's absolutely free. You can download it in the description box below. It'll help you raise your vibration. And other than that, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you guys liked it. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Also, hit that little notification here so that you guys can see the daily vids that I do. So what YouTube does things now, you actually have to hit it in order to see that. And other than that, as always, I will see you guys on the next day. Peace, much love, and namaste.